Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and today, well, I've got a new toy, and I'm gonna tell you all about it, coming up next. So are you ready? Here we go. This is it. Well, what this is called is an impact screwdriver. And if you've never heard of an impact screwdriver, guess what? You're not alone. So here's the deal with an impact screwdriver. It's a screwdriver. Have you ever taken something apart where you, you got all the screws out but that last one? And no matter how much weight you put behind the screwdriver, maybe you're throwing your whole body in, you, you just can't budge the thing. Maybe it's rusted or seized. Maybe there's thread lock on the threads and you can't budge it. So maybe you decide, well, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a drill. Well, then you wind up, you wind up with a strip screw like this. What happens is you can't get enough force behind the drill to back it out. So it spins, the bit spins and you strip out the head. So enter the impact screwdriver. Now I'm gonna install a Phillips bit. It comes with other bits, okay? Now you have to use it with a hammer because it's a manual screwdriver, even though it's an impact screwdriver. Now this is how an impact screwdriver works. It has a forward and a reverse setting. I have it set in reverse. Now we have a screw here that I'm gonna extract. Now it's just for demonstration purposes because normally it's a piece of machinery or it's a car, okay, that you're pulling a screw or a bolt or a nut out of. It's not generally wood. What you wanna do is you wanna take the impact screwdriver and you wanna seat it perfectly in the head of the screw. Okay, so the tool is seated perfectly in the head of the screw, all right? But I wanna draw something to your attention and it's the tool. Let me say this, this is a heavy duty tool. It weighs a couple pounds. Don't let the size deceive you because it's got a lot of weight to it. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is, well, it has to accept the blow of a hammer. So the way this works, as you strike, the top of the impact screwdriver, uh -huh. what happens is it delivers a great deal of force at the same time it's turning the bit just a little bit because a lot of times it's all you need. Okay, so let's do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the impact screwdriver and I'm gonna mark a reference line so we can see this thing moving, all right? I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'm gonna continue it on top of the table. So can you see that? So here we go. Can you see where it just turned it just a little bit? It's just a fraction of inch. There's our reference line and there's the line of the screw. So that little fraction of an inch is all you need to turn that screw so you can use a regular screwdriver to pull it out. Now this tool here, it just cost me about $18, and I like to work on machinery and sometimes my car. If you're the same, you wanna have a tool like this. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can't do this. See you next time.